but you're gonna go meet with your connect tonight, right? At the pub. Yeah, that's right. He said he'd be there with the 20,000 when I show up with the goods. Make sure it's in the duffel bag and make sure to check all the bills. You see, last time, you got fooled by a batch of singles. I'll never make that mistake again. Yeah, don't. Because next time I'm going to whack you. And make sure you don't screw it up this time. for you. <laughs> Bartender, call the cops. This freak's messing with me. <laughs> what are you on, man? There's no one there. What are you, a lightweight? You don't see the clown? The clown, look at it right here. Look, man, I want you out of my bar now. Now, schizo. <laughs> a hothead. sworn pack you never come to the office. What the fuck? Are you a fool? The heat's on the street, Doc. The news of this guy's last four targets been traveling all over the neighborhood. He's gonna lead cops straight to us. We gotta get rid of him. Now. Not yet. Not yet. I still have a little task for Mr. Pips to perform. After he's done with that task, then we'll kill him. Look, man, I gave you those pills for this guy to see Mad Men. And then you hypnotize him and do all the dirty work. I am not as part of this as much as you are. If I plead, I may get a year. But you, you get life for murder. <laughs> You're a real shit, Zero. That wasn't our plan. We should stick to our plan and our deal. Sorry to disappoint you, but I gotta kill this fucker. Zero, no! <laughs> I think they're the living dead. Zombies. I thought they were only in bad B movies. Okay, Mr. Edwards, lead us to the exit. What? You can be 
feed a full grown man to the skin of itty bitty baby spiders? Those damn things are creepy. And if you rag on me about this, I'm gonna kick your ass, Lily. I can take it to Cromwell Manor. You gotta promise me I can kill the owner of that estate. Who are you and how do you know the owner of the estate? My name is Bruce Stone. And the owner of that estate isn't human. He's a creature of the undead. Well, now it sounds like we're on to something. Yeah, sounds it, Johnson. By the way, what's the name of this creature? His name is Count Gore. You familiar with this creature? More than I'd like to know. I thought we destroyed him several years ago. Well, remember what you said. Evil will always return. Good morning, Johnson. By the way, how did you happen to come upon meeting Count Gore? It's a long story, but I've been chasing this son of a bitch all over the world. You see, years ago, my father was cursed by Count Gore. And when I was born, the curse was passed along to me. And if the legends are true, and I destroy Count Gore, his curse dies with him, and I will be a free man. Okay, Mr. Stone, now lead us away to Cromwell Manor so we can free your soul and possibly save my family. All right, let's go. Let's put on my dad. There it is, Cromwell Manor. I got you here, but now I have to go on alone. For you see, when I become the creature, I cannot control myself. If I attack you, do it by any means what you can to destroy me. For you see, if I can't find peace by destroying him, maybe you can grant me some. Good luck, Mr. Stone. We'll see what we can do. Good luck to you as well. Tiffany! Tiffany! Tiffany, where are you? Who the hell are you? And what are you doing out here? Don't you know the beach is closed until further notice? No, sir. We didn't know the beach was closed. We just come out here every now and then. What do you mean you didn't know the beach was closed? What, you have others out here? If you do, you better take me to them. This way I'll walk you all out together, okay? Yes, sir. The back this way. Well, sir, this is our camp site. I see this campfire, but where are your friends? They have to be nearby. Oh my god, not another one. Not just like the other one. Oh my god, sir, it's one of my best buddies. Why they're dead, covered in oil? The fuck could have done this? I don't know, kid, but I'm gonna find out who did it. I'm gonna find out soon. But you know something, if you at least read the signs and listened to the news, your friend would still be alive right now. Now you said there were others? Yeah, my buddy John. He's gotta be here somewhere. Alright, you stay put, and I'll go look, and I'll have a car come out and pick you up, okay? Oh my god, the doll. Claude! Claude, get in here. Yes, uh... I just want to thank you for finding the doll and returning it to me. No, sir, I did not find your doll. You're telling me that you didn't find a doll and then place it right here next to me at the desk? No, sir, I did not. Well then... That's crazy. How, how do you explain it getting here? Dear. Sir, are you sure that doll isn't haunted? I feel there's an ancient curse upon it. Clive, you've been reading way too many of your little throw novels. That doll isn't haunted. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, sir, how do you explain it showing up on the top of your desk out of nowhere? Well, alright, you know what? really good question, and I guarantee I will get to the bottom of this sooner or later. But, you know what, for now I'm going to have to lock it up till we find out some more about it. 
Oh my god. Uh, Claude. The doll's gone. It's, it's gone again. Sir, the doll is haunted. Haunted, I tell you, haunted! Damn it, man, get a hold of yourself. Thank you, sir. I believe I needed that. It's okay, Claude. Just, look, I'm gonna search this room while you search the others. When you find it, you call me. Yes, sir. Sir? Sir? You cold? Sir? Where are you? There it is! Ah! Got you! Sir? Sir? Oh my god! No!